everyone, my name is Richie and welcome back to another video today. Join me on the five circle to do a pacer run. Eh? A pacer run? What's it doing in Scotland, eh? <laughs> no, this is just a scenario made by the one and only BDL Houston on the Creators Club and in the Discord. And they've decided to put a pacer on the five circle, which I think is very unique, let's say. It's in a lovely Scott Rail livery, as you can see, which has also been made uh, by them. And they've, uh, yeah, it kitted the full... I think this is meant to be the provincial livery one, uh, but yeah, they've kitted it all out with the Scott Rail livery. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be taking this onto the five circle, probably as far as North Queens Free, just after the bridge, uh, because a pacer on the fourth bridge, has that ever happened before? Uh, well, it's going to happen now, so yeah, let's jump on into it. So here we go, we're doing 2G63. What's G in the phonetic alphabet? Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, we're doing 1218 to Cowden Beef. Good afternoon, today you'll be driving this stopping service between Edinburgh and Cowden Beef with a pair of Class 142 Pacers. Depart on time at 1218 and enjoy. I'm sure I will. Right, let's get ourselves set up. We need to put the master key in, which is here, and pop it into forwards. Excellent, let's open the doors. Doors are on the left, and we need to put the tail lights, the, tail lights, the headlights on. Cool. Here we go, right, the Pacer at Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh Waverley. As you can tell with the bagpipes in the distance there, we're very much in Scotland. Mm. Yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? Uh, a Pacer, Class 142 Pacer. You wouldn't expect, you wouldn't really see these. But did the Pacers ever w run in Scotland? Uh, let me know. Uh, so yeah, so today we're going to be taking this uh, up to uh, North Queensbury just after the bridge. Uh, so we'll be calling at uh, Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway, Dalmany, and then North Queensbury. Uh, because yeah, a, a Pacer on the fourth bridge, uh, Let's make it happen today. Let's make it happen. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this as well. I'll tell you what else we're going to do. We're going to put a bit of AWS on just for an added bit of uh, chaos. Let's do that. Cool. And I need to put the cover down. Where's the cover? There it is. Cool. Right, let's lock the doors and get going. It looks good in a Scott Rail livery, I won't lie. It looks really good. I, I think they're missing their trick here. I think they should uh, bring them to Scotland. Anyway, let's go. Throttle, throttle free. Uh, we haven't got any... Um, destination on so maybe if we put it what can we put it on to special yeah we'll put it onto special i think that'll be all right yeah it's a special service it's a rail tour yeah it's technically a rail tour isn't it? anyway let's go next stop is haymarket in 1.2 miles time it's very funky in it very funky indeed look at it look at it go it looks very very questionable right <laughs> throttle five let's go let's bounce along the five circle oh gosh i didn't even think it's going to be bouncing along the fourth bridge this is absolute chaos. If you want to give this uh, scenario a go, it will be linked in the description. And obviously I'm not going as far as Calden Beef because, well, maybe you want to do the full thing. So I won't ruin the whole scenario for you. I'll let you go and go and do it yourself. We've got a 158 in the distance there. I think it's a scenario, uh, not scenario, a livery designer 158 because I think this was made before the Scott Rail Class 158 DLC came out. So uh, as we go past that in a minute, that should also be in Scott Rail colors. Right, we're still at 20. Uh, oh. We're going this way. Okay, sure. So are we going around that 158? Oh no, no, it's stuck at a red light. Cool, here we go. Bouncing along, very, a very different view of the route, innit? <laughs> look at this, look at the state of this. Oh gosh. Here's the 158. Yeah, it's in all the all the pretty uh, pretty colors, in it. Yeah, this is the, uh, it's the Creators Club one, this. Look at that, wonderful. And off it goes as well. Oh, he's waiting for us. So this is, this is a bit more realistic, but uh, that not so, not so much. Oh, it's very dark in this tunnel, isn't it? Uh, I need to get up to 35, let's put full throttle on. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's noisy in this tunnel. Oh my, I can't hear myself think. Hold on, I'm gonna have to check back in when I get out of this tunnel, because I can't hear myself. Gosh, after all that chaos, we're, uh, we're approaching into Haymarket now, so let's get the brakes on. Uh, brake two, step two will be all right. Let's slow down a bit. Look at this, look at this arriving into Haymarket. I bet the people are thinking, what on earth is this, right? This is a brand new train for Scotland, all right? Scotland's brand new train. You know, top of the, uh, top of the range. Beautiful, bouncing activities, yeah. Nice and clean inside, I think. Very comfortable seats. Look at the comfortable seats in there. Look, them, uh, them bars on the back of the seats. They're there for extra comfort. Oh, we've got an Azuma here. We almost got ran over by an Azuma. Yep, there you go, we've got an Azuma as well. Interesting. This is an interesting shot, this, isn't it? A 142 Pacer in Scott Rail livery with a Class 801 Azuma next to it. Gosh, um, yeah, sure. 
Right, let's lock our doors as the A21 disappears. It didn't want to be uh, next to the 142 for too long. It literally stopped for two seconds and buggered off. So yeah, it doesn't like the 142. Oh, come on, just because you're a brand new electric train, you need to you need to pay homage to the uh, noisy diesels. Go on, full throttle. Come on, Pacer, show us how it's done. Right. Lovely stuff, look at this go. Off it goes. I wonder, can you couple the 142 to the 170? That's a good question. I'm going to try that one time. Off it goes. Look at this. Excellent stuff. Do you know what? This is actually really cool. I think I think Scotland should uh, acquire some paces if, uh, if I'm 100% honest. Anyway, let's go. Edinburgh Gateway in 3.8 miles time and this is getting us proper shimmy on so maybe, just maybe, we'll get there quite quickly. Right, let's get a flyby shot as we go past this uh, lovely stadium here. Look at that. Look at the absolute state of it. <laughs> oh no. I mean, it's a good idea, don't get me wrong, and I'm quite enjoying this, quite enjoying putting the pacer on there on different routes where it sh really shouldn't be. Uh, do you know what I do need to try? I need to try the pacer on Birmingham Cross City, see if it can get up the Licky Incline. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one for it, like a different video, diesels versus the, uh, the Licky Incline. Oh, that's giving me a good idea. I'm gonna try that out one time. Here we go, we're now veering off onto the five circles. So obviously that would go on towards Glasgow. We're not going there today. We're off to Cowden Beef. Right, lovely stuff. Off it goes around the corner. It got up to 75 quite quickly and we've got a 90 limit in a minute. So we can, we'll, we'll hit 90, not a problem. In fact, we're gonna do it now, full throttle. Go, go, go. I love the pacer. I think it's an absolute brilliant, brilliant unit. And you know, bouncing along this route. Yeah, sure, why not? Anyway, South Gull will be the next station that we pass through. We're gonna fly through that. People are gonna be stood at South Gull thinking, what on earth is that, right? And I'll be like, it's just a pacer, chill out, right? Respect the pacer, it's a lovely unit. Here we go, we're flying through South Gull. Look at all these people, well confused. Look at this guy here, he's well confused. He's, he's speechless, look at him. Right, let's slow down. We do actually need to slow down uh, for Edward Gateway. Let's slow down a bit more. Um, Bit quick, bit too quick, we are going uphill. And we've got, oh, we've got a 170. Oh, a normal train, right. Lovely, look at that. Lovely stuff, that would have been a good photo mode shot. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that's that should be there, that belongs there. This on the other hand, shouldn't. <laughs> Imagine, right, getting on at Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh Waverley, thinking I need to get to the airport and hopping on a pacer. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, let's slow down. I think this should be all right, braking wise. I hope, I think. Slow down, slow down a tad, a bit more. Ah oh, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Hello people at Edinburgh Gateway, get aboard my, oh, noisy pacer, that was a bit uh, a bit loud in my ears. Right, let's open the doors. Look, at, I love the doors on this. Proper like bu old school bus doors, innit? <laughs> Brilliant, look at that. Do you know what does intrigue me? If you can actually get onto these, uh, onto these tracks and spawn something onto them, because they're in the, uh, they're in the map. Imagine, right, the tram track, you could accidentally spawn a pacer onto it. I'm going to give that a go. I'll give that a go, and if it works, I'll surely let you know. Anyway, right, we need to lock the doors. Again, let's shut these bus doors. Everyone that wants to get on the pacer, get on quick, because we're going. We're off. Right, full throttle. Ah, not a problem. The 0.7% incline is absolutely not a problem for this, uh, this unit. Let's go. It's so noisy. It's so ridiculously noisy. Goodness gracious me. Right, four miles to Dalmany and we will have, we'll have a 100 mile an hour limit at some point, so hopefully it can get to that. I don't think it will. Off it goes, lovely stuff. Here we go, 100 mile an hour limit as we go past the airport on the left hand side. You can see over there the control tower and it's getting it's getting some decent speed, you know? It's a bit of a glum day though, isn't it? It's a very glum day. I think it should be a really sunny day because we've got a pacer, a pacer in Scotland. What a great day, what a great day this is. Look at it, look at it go. It's wonderful. Right, anyway, can you get to 100 miles an hour? That's a good question. 100 miles an hour, come on Pacer, you can do it. You managed to get to 90, not a problem. Right, 75 was was easy work for you. 100 miles an hour, come on. You got two and a half miles to do it. I believe in you. We've got two miles left to get up to 100. It's gonna struggle, because we have got a 1% uphill gradient, which is not good. We've got an 80 in a minute anyway, so we're up to line speed, well, we will be up to line speed in a second anyway. And there goes the AWS shouting at us. Are we going too quick for you, eh? No, not a problem. And now we're on the approach to Dalmany. Uh, I've took the throttle off. It didn't get 200, it, oh well. It tried, we tried it and it didn't work. 
Maybe, maybe if it was just the one unit. But a double unit doesn't seem to like it. Anyway, let's get the brakes on for Dalmany, uh, just before the bridge, we don't want to overshoot it. It's an uphill station anyway, so the, uh, the gradient should help us out. Come on, slow down a little bit more. A bit more than that. We're going a bit too quick. Right, step one, step one brake should be okay, I think. I think, no, maybe, no, we'll stick to step two, okay? Step two will be just all right, I think. I'm not very good at judging the braking with DMUs. I may love a DMU, and they may be my favorite type of unit, but I'm not very good at judging the braking on them. Like now, we're going a bit too quick. So we've put step three on, it's fine. I don't think that's going to be good enough either. I'll be alright. It'll be okay. Do you know what? No, that's fine. That's absolutely not a problem. And we've got the bridge over there. So, is it going to be the first time putting a pacer on the fourth bridge? I don't know. This is probably where someone tells me now that pacers used to run in Scotland all the time. And I'm just being silly. But, hopefully, it's a first time for everything. Right. Let's go. Let's get the pacer on the fourth bridge. Got 1.9 miles to North Queensfree, which about 1.7 miles of it is a is a bridge. So let's go. Uh, I'll end the video at North Queensfree because uh, I want you lot to experience this for yourselves, taking this up to Cowden Beef. So off we go. Off onto the bridge it goes. Go on, pacer. Very noisy pacer. Lovely stuff. Go on. Off it goes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. Full throttle. Throttle seven. Let's go. It'll get up to 50, no problem. Here we go, the moment of truth, the class 142 pacer on the fourth bridge. Look at that, let's get a nice little flyby shot of it in it from, from far away. Right, look at it go. It's a bit of a glum day, but it's beautiful, look at that. <laughs> oh no, the absolute state of that, the class 142 pacer on the fourth bridge. First time for everything? Maybe, you know, maybe it, it, it fits there, look at it. I think this fits here, you know. I don't think it's overly out of place, the pacer. I can imagine back in the day, maybe they did they did run on the uh, on the five circle. I don't know what units used to run back in the, back in the day, right? I mean, this bridge has been here for like 100 years. What used to run on this portion of the line back, you know, 30, 40 years ago before the 158 and the 170s and that? Let me know. Right, despite it being a glum day, you know we've got to do a photo mode shot, right? Let's do it. Let's put the field of view up a bit because we want to see the wonderful bridge in the background. We want a bit of rotation. Sure, should we put it this side? Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do, right, and then we want to overexpose it, maybe. A little bit of saturation. No, not too much. That's a bit ugly doing that. Vignette, we need, we need a bit of vignette. Makes it quite atmospheric. Uh, we don't need to change the brightness. And I think that's all right, yeah, look at that. Maybe a different angle, just an ever so slight different angle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you don't believe it till you see it, do you? But that's the pacer on the five circle. <laughs> anyway, we're almost at North Queensferry. Got another bridge over there. Excellent stuff. Yeah, this is quite fun, actually. I highly recommend this scenario. I think you should go play it for yourself. And here we go. We're coming off the bridge now. I'm very sad. I really enjoyed that little run across the bridge. I think pacers, I think pacers need to be worked into the timetable. If anyone from Dovetail or Rivet are watching, how about working a pacer into the timetable as like a little rail tour? I think it'd be quite cool. Just one or two. I know they're not, you know, probably realistic, but I'm, I'm all I'm all for it. And I think a lot of people, right? Everyone in the comments put, "We want a pacer in the timetable." Right? Do it. Let's let's, let's just have it. When the 158 and the Leaven branch comes out, just sneak in a 142 service in there somewhere, anywhere. Right? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, is a pacer on the five circle just a bit too much for you? Probably. Anyway, right. Let's open the doors. This. Uh, this is North Queensferry. We're a little bit, a uh, little bit off the edge there. Oh no, we're just on. Are we just on? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Not tea and, bis uh, tea and biscuits with the manager today. Not at all. Anyway, right. As people get on and off that pacer here at North Queensferry, that has been a class 142 pacer run scenario on the five circle. Obviously, it's linked in the description. Go and give it a go. It goes up to Cowden Beef. Uh, but I've really enjoyed that. I think it's stu stupidly funky. Uh, and I like funky scenarios and services and stuff. So I'm all for it. But yeah, go and give this uh, scenario a go. It's a good bit of fun. And, uh, you know, if you make any funky scenarios on five circle or any other routes, let me know. Especially if they involve a pacer, I'm all for it. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you're new, I'd massively appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.